Looking at a couple burrs for my big dog investors, Kale and Dave. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holt Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'll be your host. And uh, this is the show where we work together to try to build, grow, expand, create wealth through real estate, build, grow, expand real estate portfolios, rental portfolios to be specific. And uh, Kale and Dave, man, these are my big dogs. These dudes have been doing a lot of bird deals. Uh, we're working quick. We're trying to scale up fast. We're trying to put together a big old portfolio. A lot of stuff in the Section 8 uh, low-income tenant type range. Getting a ton of cash flow per door, and this one's no different. 7915 Elton Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Now, this has been on the market for a while, dudes. 129 days, but it hasn't been on my radar because it's been too high. Well, I mean, I guess it's been on my radar. Like, I, I saw it. I was paying attention but the price points they had uh the property had before wouldn't make any damn sense man uh it was up around the 50k or so range they've dropped it down to 41 grand but i don't want you guys to pay 41 grand what i want you guys to do is pay 30 grand and then i also want to plan for you guys to do a thirty thousand dollar rental so i think we need to be all into this investment for 60k when we do that We'll be uh, getting $1,000 a month from a Section 8 tenant. That's twelve k a year. And you guys are pros at this point. You guys have seen me go through these numbers on a bunch of houses, and a lot of them are similar, right? Because we're targeting this whole Clark Fulton, Metro Health, Brooklyn Center, west side of Cleveland area, right? So 1,000 Gs comes in. On average, I anticipate spending 463 Average NOI, 537. Then, of course, we're going to do the cash out refi. With that big old $30,000 reno, man, I'm hoping we can get it to appraise when it does at 70000 If we do that, since you spent sixty to put it together, you got it to appraise at seventy. dollars they'd give us back fifty two and a half, which would be a 50 0.5% cash on cash return. That's the power of Burr deals. That's why you guys are utilizing the Burr method, right? We take distressed assets like this. We utilize our cash to try to pick them up below market value, get them below fair market value, push the property value up with a nice renovation. Plus, in this particular neighborhood, because of Metro Health investing a billion dollars, I'm anticipating some growth. And that's what gets me to what's special about this property. I kind of flew, flew through all that stuff. But here's the cool thing that I really like about this property and I really like for you to. This actually has a tenant in there, okay? There's already a tenant. He's paying seven fifty. Now, I don't have any photos of the property other than these two. And I can tell just from the outside that this property is pretty jacked, right? Like all this peeling paint on the uh, steps there, like the gutters and the roof and all that shit's fucked up, right? So where did I come up with my $30,000 rental budget, right? The normal stuff, 20 k is approximately what my team needs on a cosmetic basis to go into a property like this. How long this dude has been there at 750? I don't know. It's been a while. Looking at the outside, I'm sure it looks like shit, right? Why else? Why would it not look like shit? I'm sure the property looks like shit. So when eventually this dude moves out and we take this unit that looks like a shit, I, I need 20K, okay? Floors, walls, kitchen, bath, making it look bang and trying to get it Section 8 approved. I factored in an additional 10K and ugh money, right? I don't know what's going on. I know the roof looks fucked up. I know the outside looks fucked up. Maybe we'll spend 5k on a roof. As far as the furnace, if I had to replace it, that's 3Gs. How long does this furnace going to last? I don't know. Theoretically, it works right now, but you know, I got that in there. Hot water tank, that's a G. How long is that going to work? I don't know. So I don't know what else we're going to need to do to get it Section 8 compliant, making it look nice above that 20. So we go ahead and just factor in, you know, another 10 because, dude, it's not hot, right? It's not great looking, so we know we're, we're expecting something rough, right? And that's part of the reason I think we can get it down at only 30. But this is what I love, dude. 
we are doing so many bird deals with you guys right now that I can't renovate all your houses at once, right? It's going to take some time. So with this particular property, we just picked this sucker up cash. Let's just do nothing. Let's let that dude keep paying us seven fifty a month. Back to the chart with the uh, the NOI there. I'm anticipating our expenses every month being an average of four sixty three, and that also includes saving fifty uh, for repairs and maintenance, saving fifty for non-payment and vacancy, saving fifty for capex. So that's another hundred fifty dollars coming into your pockets right now. So that would be like what six fifty, six sixty, seventy eight. That's like six eighty seven that I think would be coming into you guys' pocket right now, right? So you buy it. Don't be in a rush to spend that 30 G's. Just leave dude in there paying 750 until it's time for dude to go. If dude is a good tenant, even though his house looks a little sketchy on the outside, cool, man. When it comes time to renew his lease, let's either keep him at 750 or we'll try to go up 25 here, 25 there. And let's just keep that rolling. Keep that gravy chain going, man. It cash flows right now as it sits without you doing anything. And then when we get that natural turnover, whether that be this guy decides to move out, go live somewhere else. Maybe we try to increase the rent too much. He couldn't afford it. He wanted to move out. Maybe he just had something going on in his life. He wanted to move out. Or maybe he stops paying. I don't know anything about the guy. I don't. I haven't screened him. We can't screen him. What, what the hell is that going to do? He's already living in the house, right? We don't know shit about this guy. Maybe he stops paying uh, paying his rent one day. Maybe he goes to jail. I don't know. There's a bunch of unknowns. Who the hell knows? So at that point, when that property's empty, that's when we go in there and we bust out that $30,000 reno. That's when we get the appraisers in there to do that cash out refinance. That's when I hope to get it valued at 70 G's and bring you guys back another 52 and a half to keep things moving, man. So that's why I really dug this property. Uh, once I saw they dropped it down to the 41 range, I think now we're in striking distance and we could try to go ahead and pick that sucker up for 30 G's for you guys. So that's what I want to do. Now, we're going to go to a, another property real quick, but first we got to do a word from the sponsors of today's show, so I'll be right back. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Kale Dave, welcome back, guys. Now, the next property, I just looked at this for another client. Uh, this client you know, didn't fit what they wanted to do. So I thought of you guys. We haven't talked about this neighborhood yet, Painesville. I haven't talked about it with you guys. It's a nice little sleepy town, nice little red government, okay? A little red housing court government, very important. What I want you guys to do, take a look at what I had to say about this property to my previous client. Just did it a few days ago. 538 Railroad Street, Painesville, 44077. Listed a little bit over a month ago, about six weeks ago, okay? 64,900. And this is just a, a cool little ugly duckling, right? This, this little ugly ass little house. But that, that's the name of the game, right? We're trying to do a burr right now. We, we want to find little ugly houses, okay? You got some crap from the previous occupant that's going to stay. You know, as far as these kitchen cabinets go, uh, you know, 
the cabinets look to be solid, but we're probably going to want to do a little bit of work. Like, what the hell's going on here, dude? We got, like, uh, you know, the counter's up here, and then this this little thing is lower. Like, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on right there. So we're going to have to, you know, button some stuff up, pretty some stuff up, make it look nice, right? I mean, it's salvageable, We but we want to we wanna really spruce it up. One thing that is nice, though, right, this furnace... This is pretty much brand new furnace, according to the listing agent. We got a brand new furnace in here. And then that's probably about five years old. So that's some of our big ticket items we don't really need to worry about. This electrical panel right here, according to the listing agent, we also have an update here as well. Just let me read you what the uh, listing agent said, actually. This bungalow has a new furnace, 2020, a newer plumbing and electrical. Bathroom recently remodeled, good starter home or investment property. Located close to many amenities and business district. Now, let me go back to that bathroom real quick. Because, uh, you know, look, here's the deal. Is this, like, the worst bathroom I've ever seen? No. Uh, am I excited about this bathroom? Not particularly. I mean, look at the, the, the tub surround. Like, they're saying, oh, recently renovated. I mean, that looks pretty grimy to me. Uh, this is, you know, this is okay. I'm not really feeling the color. It doesn't really match what's going on in the rest of the house. So I still want to do some serious work up in this house, right? So this is what I think we could do. This is what I think. This is what I want to do. Let me pull this picture off, okay? It's listed at 64900 You're a cash buyer. You're an investor. You're ready to rock and roll. This house is ugly, right? They're saying they renovated this, and uh, it looks grimy. I don't think people are excited about this. So I think there's not a lot of competition, especially competition with cash buyers. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get aggressive, bro. I want to come in and try to pick this up for you for fifty grand, and then I want to do a real rental. I want to make it look nice, man. I want to spend twenty grand, okay? Twenty grand. Now, with that twenty grand, what I want to spend it on is the cosmetics. I want to go in, get us nice hardwood floors, paint everything the same color, like none of this crap. Like we got in the in the kitchen or in the bathroom, rather. We got baby blue. Over here, we got some ugly old, like, dated brown. We're back to baby blue over here. I don't know what the hell's going on in this screened-in porch, but, like, I'm guessing the people that lived here uh, were probably people that lived here for many years, and they smoked a lot. You can see that the uh, the ceiling up there is all yellowed out, right? That's gross. Uh, we got just, I mean, like, look, it's just, you know, it's gross. It's like a half-ass cosmetic reno it doesn't look good right so we're gonna want to spend 20 fix up that kitchen remember that kitchen counter that has like two different levels we're gonna make it look legit okay we don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money on the electrical or the plumbing we don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money on the furnace right that's nice so 20k should get us a badass good looking property not a little half-ass uh reno right so we'd be all in for 70 we do that, we get ourselves a nice stable tenant, because this is a nice little stable neighborhood, man. That tenant's going to be paying a 1000 bucks a month, approximately, right? I mean, guys, every house is a little different, right? You know, a lot of these three-bedroom homes in a lot of these neighborhoods, we're getting around a 1000 but, like, you know, when we go Section 8 or if we go cash, I mean, that could shake out a little differently. You know, one house might be, like, 995 another one might be, like, 999 1010 985 stuff like that, right? But generally about a 1000 okay? So approximately a thousand is going to come in. I anticipate approximately four eighty-five going out the door. I mean, you're familiar with the uh, the types of costs, right? You've been doing this a while. You got seven properties in Indiana. You got three with us. You know the deal. You know that this is an average. So approximately five fifteen or so will be the NOI. Now, I just want to be really conservative here, right? I, I'm saying we're all into this thing for seventy. Let's just say it appraises at seventy-five. I mean, we might get. Lucky, and it goes a little bit higher. But when I do these, I can't always, like, you know, pinpoint what the appraiser's going to do, right? Sometimes appraisers, man, they, th they throw you a curveball, and they do something crazy. So what I like to do when I give you guys the uh, the after-repair value of these, I like to give you guys the price that I know I could sell it for, right? Like, sometimes appraisers, they go higher. Sometimes they go lower. But I know you give me a renovated home in this particular neighborhood, tenant paying a thousand bucks. I know I'm selling that for 75 G's all day. So, you know, I can't exactly tell you the dollar that every specific appraiser is going to do, but that's 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 the value right there, guys. Like, I mean, <laughs> I've had houses appraised by 
different appraisers. I had one duplex one time get appraised by two appraisers, and they had a forty thousand dollar difference. One guy appraised it at eighty, the other guy appraised it at one hundred twenty. Right. So not all appraisers are created equal, but about seventy five G's is the value here. Okay. So that's conservative. You know, it could appraise a little higher, but let's say it does appraise for seventy five G's of your seventy. The bank, if we're doing just like my regular traditional loan, they'll loan you back $56,250. Now, that's not the portfolio loan we were talking about earlier, right? This would be just a, you do this one on its own, okay? Just a 30-year loan, right? Of that, if they're giving you back fifty six two fifty, dude, that means you're only into this thing for thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty, which is actually more than double what you asked me to provide you. You asked me to provide you a ten percent cash on cash return. What we've done here, if it all panned out like that, that's going to be an average return on your investment of twenty four percent. And now one other thing I want to specify to you because you have your portfolio with us here, and uh, you haven't experienced this yet. As far as the location, right, you have not bought anything in Painesville thus far. So I'm going to give you just a little insight because you know I am all about transparency. Okay. Now, as you can see from the map, Painesville is a little farther away from Cleveland. Okay. This is up here in Lake County, right? Holton Wise, we are right here. Uh, our property management office where all the techs work out of and stuff, it's literally in a, it's in a suburb called Parm. It's across the street, right? Across the street is, is Cleveland, right? So we are Cleveland. Anything that is going to be a little bit further away, right? So Cleveland, Parma, they are in Cuyahoga County. We will manage anything in Cuyahoga County plus the surrounding counties. So if the surrounding counties touch Cuyahoga County, we'll manage it. Paysville is in a county called Lake County, right? So it's outside of Cuyahoga County. Anything outside of Cuyahoga County, we're going to have a small surcharge. That surcharge is not a monthly fee. It's not, it's not uh, a fee that you pay every single month. It's just a fee when I have to physically send one of my guys out to your house, right? Because we have to drive pretty far. I mean, that's probably like a 45-minute drive right there, right? So we have additional drive time. So... That fee is explained. It's in our property management contract. It's for any property that's located outside of Cuyahoga County. Just any time our guys go out there, you go to the property management fact on HoltonWise.com. You could download our property management agreement. All of our fees are in there, guys. We are all about transparency here. So when you're buying something that's outside of Cuyahoga County, remember to factor the fact that you're going to have to pay additional surcharges when feet people need to get out to the house. But here's the cool thing. All your other properties, they're in Cuyahoga County, right? The tax basis in the municipalities in Cuyahoga County, higher than those in Lake County, right? So you are more than going to make up for those surcharges with the lower taxes. In addition, what's pretty cool, now, as you see over here, I got my Trump head, I got my Bernie Sanders head with the, uh, the communist uh, stuff here, right? We got the uh, AOC right here. People, uh, sometimes they harp on me, they're like, yo, what's up with all the political stuff, this or that? People know that I'm a Trump fan, and you know, if you guys follow me on some of my other social media, you guys know I talk about it a lot. People are like, what the hell does that have to do with real estate? Guys, you're crazy if you don't think real estate and politics have to do with each other. And uh, here's the thing. Red municipalities, guys, red municipalities, they're a lot more landlord-friendly than blue municipalities. So in Cuyahoga County, we're fairly landlord-friendly, but sometimes they get a little funky, right? Every now and again, the folks over in Cleveland Heights... The judges get a little weird. Uh, every once in a while, Lakewood, we, we see them get a little weird. Lake County, guys, there's a lot of rural stuff out in Lake County. That is really landlord-friendly. So, yes, we have the surcharge, but what we're going to see out in Lake County, way lower taxes because, you know, lower taxes, that's what comes with, you know, red areas, right? And way more friendly landlord-tenant policy. So if you ever end up in a situation where we got to evict folks, things of that nature... You want to be in a red community. So those things are really huge benefits that are going to far outweigh uh, the surcharges that we have to spend when we're sending people out to the home. So, Shecky, I think this one is going to work for you, bro. I want to add this one to your portfolio. So just reply to the private email. Let us know what you want to do. If for some reason you're not feeling this one, that's totally cool. We've contracted to do several other videos. So just let us know, and uh, we'll go back to the drawing board, and we'll see what we can work out. Everybody else, before we exit the show for the day, 
if you're watching this and you're like, hey, man, this seems pretty cool. I like the transparency. I'd like to work with this guy. I like the no fluff, right? HaltonWise.com, okay? Go to Property Search for Sale tab. You can work with uh, my folks a couple different ways. Option one, the Investment Properties for Sale show. It's another show we run here on Holton Wise TV. Check it out. If you're an investor who doesn't need a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, you just know what you want, you just want to make bids, watch that show. Uh, subscribe on the email uh, the email list. We got the ability for you to subscribe there. We'll send the show to you every day at 1 o'clock. We got property tours. That's what we're selling. We're the number one seller of rentals out here in Cleveland. There's not going to be any specification to you, though, right? You're just going to get the same show everybody gets at 1 o'clock, and you're going to have to bid against the other investors, right? We get multiple offers on all those properties. But if you want to do what we're seeing today, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to tell me your budget, your wants, your needs, risk tolerance, things of that nature, you want to be here. MLS Search and Analysis Show, you click that, you go over our packages, you could start with one property, we'll work together uh, for, you know, multiple property packages. We got four packs, 10 packs, two packs, the whole nine, it really creates this long-term relationship. And then the last thing you guys could do is if you just want my direct broker at MLS access, we got packages starting at 10 bucks. Go ahead and click that link. You could get it. All right, guys, let me know, man. Let me know what you think. I know this one's new for you guys, but again, I think the red housing government is going to be incredibly important for us, right? So I like it. We're kind of moving heavy up into this little area. We like them low taxes, and it, it fits well with a lot of your other stuff, right? I like to give you guys a lot of what you like, but I also like to balance it out, right? I know we're doing heavy burrs, but I've also been trying to pepper in some stuff for you guys that has rental income coming in so I could balance that out. I could balance the money coming from Cleveland back to you guys with all the money you're pouring in here, right? I don't want you guys' business to just be you guys just fucking hail marrying money into the Cleveland market and you never see anything coming out for quite some time. That's how you run out of steam and you get disenfranchised, but you guys are scaling so quickly uh, that I'm just trying to balance that out. And in addition to that type of balancing, I like to, to balance out the neighborhoods, right? I, I love the Clark Fulton area. I love the fact that all that money's going into the Metro Health neighborhood. I'm, I'm thinking that's going to work out good, but there's nothing wrong uh, with being a little bit spread out. I know with you guys specifically, we looked heavily into that Cleveland West Side neighborhood that's going to be affected by Metro Health. We've also been looking at some stuff on the far west uh, in Illyria. And then here now, this is the first one I've shown you guys over on the far east in Painesville. So I think that's just going to be something that's going to be nice, help you guys really balance out the risk of your portfolio. So as always, dudes, let my team know what you want to do. That's it for today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.